You can feel the energy in this building. They are fired up for game one. Back with that after this. the New York Mets City Field in Queens game one of the National League Championship Series it's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the New York Mets John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton postseason baseball singing it's always great to see and be a part of well, Boog, you just never know what's in store when it comes to postseason baseball. You do know you're going to see some amazing pitching, guys coming out of the bullpen, throwing 100, some incredible defensive plays, some big knocks, and maybe a mistake or two that'll live on forever. All I do know is I'm pumped up for this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now, and today's starter, Luis Severino. What do we need to know here? He's someone you can rely on to provide quality innings in almost every one of his starts, Boog. He knows how to command the mound. His stuff is good, and sometimes it's even better than good. If he gets off to a fast start, look out. It could be a tough day for this lineup. Ready to go now. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Foul ball there. The 0-1. And that one is inside ball one. One and one. And a swing to miss. One and two. And it oh, goes oh. just foul. Severino. That Ball. one way outside. Two and two. Got him swinging. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two strike pitch right there. At worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Here's Mookie to hit. That's out to center field. Nimmo ranging after it. And makes the grab. Two down. And let's take a look at the lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time. And they may not have the flash that they once did, but... They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to oh, think one. with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark. They know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Two down, nobody on. At the chase ball. that time. Two and oh. Just no. missed. Teoscar Hernandez waiting to bat for the Dodgers. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Oh. That one's in there. Three and one. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Hey. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Dodgers go down quietly. Now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. You're watching the National League Championship Series on the show. Back here in Queens. And today's starter, Landon Knack. What should we keep an eye on here? Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis, which allows him to move through a lineup and get deep into a ball game. Stepping in is the switch in at shortstop, go. Francisco Lindor. Not shortstop. Lindor hitting leadoff in today's Lindor. game, and he was born in Puerto Rico. The pitch. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. One down. 
Huge sigh of relief, I'm sure, for that, 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 that guy out there on the ball to retire a great hitter like that for the first one of the game. Here's a Mets lineup now. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out, a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And a count one, one and one. one Good eye right there. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. One down, base is empty. That one misses. And now three and one. pitch and yeah, there's ball four you know I think he's okay with that outcome that it wasn't an intentional wall he wasn't, wasn't exactly Brandon, trying to attack yeah, yeah. the zone either Nimmo. here's Brandon Nimmo worm burner into the outfield for a knock quick throw back in lead runner holds it second with one gone what if they're looking to be aggressive and got something he can handle got the top of the ball a little bit but not much that was hit pretty hard through the infield so i think he'll be happy with that swing definitely generated some good bat speed so one out with two aboard and now it's the polar bear pete alonzo Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. This would be huge right here if they could get on the board and be the first ones to score in this one with the home field advantage. Get that crowd behind you and just intimidate the opposition a little bit more. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Outside. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. And there's the ball. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And down on strikes he goes. Now two out. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a point once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Starling Marte in the box now. Take strike one. Two outs. Pitch no, misses there, the and that's ball one. In the air, right field. Fair ball. One runs in. Here comes the runner. The relay to the plate. In there no. safely. And they lead by two. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Here's Jesse Winker. Ball. That misses okay. the zone, and that is ball one. Righty to the plate. Ground ball up the middle. And it's through for a hit. Marte is waved home. He'll score. And they're up by three. Picks himself up an RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. A 
Runner at first with two away. And now the veteran third baseman. In the air, left field. And that'll do it. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. One inning in the books here. It's the Mets three, and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at City Field, and here's the veteran outfielder, Teoscar Hernandez. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that's outside. The drama always heightened in the postseason, and it leads to some really special moments. And no, this is inside. Well, one special postseason Involved. memory for okay. me, Boog, was facing Pedro Martinez, game five of the ALDS in Oakland. And man, hit a double off the Here's wall. Out. Great feeling for a guy who would eventually go into the Hall of Fame. Fires over to first. That and Hernandez is out. The catcher. The batter now yeah. will be Will Smith. Yeah. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Sends it to first, yep, and they get the out on Smith. That is good. The third base is number 13. Here's Max Matt Muncy, Matt. that funky Muncy. Muncy. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Just missed. The Dodgers trailing by three here in game one of the NLCS. And now two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. Next pitch way upstairs. Fights it off. He'll see another. Three balls, two strikes to count. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Taylor makes the catch, and that is that. Offense held in check there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Mets three, and the Dodgers nothing. Bottom of the second. Here's the left fielder, Tyrone Taylor. The left fielder, Tyrone Taylor. And the pitch. Bounce to third. Muncie yeah. sends it to first. And quickly one away in the second. Batting nine. The catcher. Ron Cisco. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Alvarez. There's a strike. On the ground, right side. Throw on to Freeman. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Now battle. The shortstop. shortstop. Francisco. Now up to hit Lindor. Francisco Lindor. First time up was a pop out. Oh. Inside, just missed. Two out, space is empty. Next one in the dirt. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Whoa. Next offering is downstairs. Mark Vientos waiting to hit for the Mets. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike, and the count is three and one. Three and 
Lindor swings through that one. Three balls, two strikes. Three and two now. Hey. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Three up, three down for him there. We play two full. It's the Mets three and the Dodgers nothing. And welcome back we to the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, the second baseman. Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That one almost got him. And another ball. In there at the knees. And out to a two. The wind of the pitch. 3-2 now. Three balls. Two strikes. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. So all filled up. Severino knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Back there. Got all of that one. He leaves the yard to right. It's 3-1. He kept swinging and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Here's Kike Hernandez. First pitch misses. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. That right, pitch move. gets the inside corner. One ball, the count one even, strike. one and one. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And he grounds one to the right side. And that one handled. Tosses to first. And one away in the top of the third. Batting on the short foul. Tommy. And here comes Tommy Ed Edmond, Ed Ed. and he's currently the team leader in batting average, Chris. Huh? Right through there for a strike. Oh, You're not ready for that pitch. You're just going to swing and miss or pop it up, waste the at-bat. If you're going to let it go, you better be ready to swing it. Oh. The shortstop takes a ball. One and one. Up the middle, makes a sliding stop to first. It's there, and that's a great play. We saw a few skills on display there for the out. Technique was great. Reaction time was there, and the slide was smooth. Watching that play come together was really fun. So the lineup flips over. Next is the designated hitter, Shohei Otani. That's a strike. It's 0-1. That's a little bit low. Foul ball. The one, two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The Dodgers trailing by two here in game one. And that one got a piece of him. He had two strikes on him. 
And he hit him. Oh, he's only an out away from now getting back. through the inning, Mike but Brody. he just lost control Brody. for a brief moment there. Yeah. It's not the end of the world, but don't let one mistake turn into another. Get your focus back right here. Shohei on the go. Oh, Pitch is low. No, Save it second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, in the postseason, I'd say we see more teams playing for one run, trying to apply some pressure, and that's exactly the case right here. Speed on the bases, put him in motion, and it worked out. Now time to execute in the batter's box. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. Pitch misses, and it's 3-0. Freddie Freeman hitting on deck circle. Runner at second, two down. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And strike one to Mookie Betts. Three ball, one strike. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Three two on the way. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. That was a nice bid right there to try to tie up this ball game. Just couldn't keep it from bending foul. He looked locked in on that swing. Pitcher better be careful with him right now. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Out to short, Lindor. Tosses to first, and Betts is gone. They limit the damage here. Solo shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now a 3-1 ball game. This is the National League Championship Series on the show. And we're back Leading as up. we go to the last the of the third. Baseman. Standing in is the power-hitting second baseman, Vietos. Mark Vientos. Now, back to work. That one catches the zone. That's no strike one. One strike. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. Adios. Pelota. A solo shot. It's 4-1. fastballs especially with good velocity can be really hard to catch up to but he stays tall his top hand works extremely well and he absolutely clobbered it Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets one for one with a single and a run scored no. so far and yeah, that's a little high but he's got to delete it you give up that leadoff home run go back to work focus on this next batter downstairs and outside now maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run Chris yeah it seems that way you know guys they can come out feel good but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit and they start trying to throw instead of pitch they're not trusting their stuff ripped but it curls foul well he's been good for the most part is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great <laughs> show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really Crazy. wants the rhythm broken out, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Left-hand hitter waits, and he chases that one. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Now about it. Here's the Pete Alonso. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last oh, time. Alonso. Yes. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter to thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Right-hander kicks, deals. Nice. 
cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs, bases now empty. Right Here's Starling Marte. Starling. A double and a run Marte. scored his first time up. Fall off foul. Two outs. Bye. And that is in for a strike. And a count is 0-2. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. The Mets add one to their lead on this solo shot. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Back here in Queens, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Freddie, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. Severino back to work. Bounced out to short. Lindor on the first. One up, one down. Now that here's Teoscar Hernandez. Grounded out his first time. These fans have to feel good right about now. This series is not going to be easy, but they have the lead at home in game one. That brings the anxiety down a few notches. Fastball in for a strike going one. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced old Shea Stadium back in 2009, and Chipper Jones was really sad to see it go. It's actually the third home of the Mets since they started out at the Polo Grounds for two seasons before Shea was finished. Inside corner for a strike. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch, and he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Kicks and deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs. Base is empty. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Grounded out his first time. Right through there for a strike. And a foul ball. That misses. And the count is one and two. The Dodgers trailing by three. Top half of inning number four. Nice. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Dodgers down in order. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. Game one of the Lead National up. League we'll Championship Series. So hitter. now here's the Mets Jesse. DH, Jesse Winker. Winker. And a pitch. Winker oh. measures six one feet ball. two okay. inches, 30 years old now, and he's usually in the outfield. Today he's the DH. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. You know, Blue, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. The one-two. Oh, inside, inside just missed. To the right side nope. and uh -oh. foul ball. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. 
He swung over top of the curveball. Well, I don't think there's a hitter okay. alive that yeah. hasn't at some point yeah. succumbed to that pitch right there. Yeah. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way. Yeah. Yeah. And then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye. And it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. And a foul ball. Oh one now. Out to short. Edmund. The throw to first. Already two gone here in the home four. Now back. Uh, we talk about back. how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. So up next for New York, Tyrone Taylor. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Ball one, one on. there. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And that'll do it. So they go quietly there. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Mets four, and the Dodgers one. Ready now for the we fifth inning. Muncy digs the in. Number 13, Max. Max. Muncy. Here comes a pitch. In for a strike. And it's 0-1. You know, these Dodgers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He'll circle the bases. His second homer of this series, and they're chipping away. It's 4-2. That gives them hope they can pull off this comeback. They just need a few more swings like that, and they're back in business. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Now it's Gavin Lux. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Taylor moving under it. Makes the grab one away. The center fielder, number eight. Here's Kike Hernandez. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, well, it's been incredibly one efficient, strike. this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. Oh. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. No, next offering upstairs. Two balls, one strike. Oh. And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Next Oop. offering is in for a strike. Okay. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Up the middle, Lindor. Throws the You're first out. in time. Now bad at Shortstop. Tommy. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Grounded out his first time up. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And it's fouled away. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is One how ball. much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Two down, base is empty, but one run across, and we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Sends it across the first. And that is the third out of the inning. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now 4-2.
We head to the bottom Liga. of the fifth. Uh, Here's the catcher for the Mets, the Francisco Alvarez. Francisco. Alvarez. And the pitch. Liga. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, and, oh, and, well, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump. And defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle. You can lose your mechanics. Oh. But the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way. And this is what this guy does. There's a swing and a miss. One ball. Two straight. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Lindor, the next to hit, takes outside. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. One out, base is empty. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is three and one. And a pitch. Swings through that one out in front that Three time. Ball. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. And that's Take ball it, four. So, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough Oh, that's, 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 that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Vientos batting with one down takes a strike there was a high velocity fastball in the zone I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter he's got good stuff pitch inside the zone and trust it slice the other way that's a base hit lead runner around second roll into third not in time he's safe Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to throw the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And now the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. Nimmo lifts one in the air deep to right field. Betts going back. Adios! Pelota! That's worth the price of admission. It's 7-2. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Now, no, Boog, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead... Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Landon Knack won't go any further, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this. To the now, mound now, they turn to Blake Trinan. Number and 49. we all know about his slider. Wait, it's wait. just filthy, man. Trinan. And One of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. One out, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Oh. And that one clips the corner. Oh, oh, it didn't take very long for Alonzo to set the home run record here at City Field. He passed Lucas Duda for the top spot in June of 2023. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul straight back.
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Third time he struck out in this one, and They're definitely right an individual Number performance six. you want to flush. Four he just right. hasn't looked very comfortable Number out there. Eight. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Marte now in the box comes up empty with a swing there definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball if you can get in that location boy you've got to look top to bottom and that's going to make it very difficult to hit two outs they tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away pitch swings and misses struck him out Mets get three on this homer it's now a 7-2 ball game back here at City Field here's Shohei Otani pretty amazing athlete this guy is power and speed quite a threat I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Nope, that's outside. That's out and that's ball two. Yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, oh. he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Yep. And a 3-0 finds his own. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting down, pitches down. outside of the zone the and right driving right. them a long way. And now it's Mookie yeah, yeah. Betts. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. That's chasing that time. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Otani gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Bows it back with two strikes. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. And they slice into the lead. It's 7-4. Mookie gets a lot of power into a swing, and this is just the latest example of it. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Huh. And that's in there for strike one. No it can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Huh. That one finds the corner. 0-2. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Kodai Singa up and loosening in the pen. Manaya, the lefty, warming up as well. Severino with another strikeout. So he's down on just three pitches. Watch the first two and then chased after now the third. Out. Yeah, not the a very good at bat right there, yeah. Boog, but that was also some excellent pitching. The 0-0 and 0-1 pitches were both right on the edge of the strike zone, so it's not like he watched two cookies go by. Then a great job of expanding and making him chase the 0-2 knowing he would be in protect mode. Hernandez stands in now and watches strike one.
Severino kicks deals. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go off. He can go away. He can add velocity. He can subtract. And the righty deals. Oh. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. One down, base is empty. That's Just off the outside edge. Yeah, full. full count, three and two. And it's ball four. He missed ball down four. low. Thank you, mate. Got a great back and forth and that at bad. Now yeah, play off bad. some really yeah. close pitches. Really? And somehow, Bogey yeah. found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Smith in the box again. Oh takes the strike. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch misses way outside. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can no, find the that. right mechanics and then repeat them. Got a good eye there. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. 2 1 now. And that one fouled off. Here's a 2 2. Good job to fight that one off. Foul tip. Oh, that got our umpire. And it looks like it got him upstairs. Ray Next ball. offering way right. off the plate. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Throws to second for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Mookie Betts springs the noise on this home run. It's now a 7-4 ball game. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the DH, Jesse Winker. The pitch. Oh. And that's off the inside edge. One ball. And it's one to no. Action in the pen down there. Ryan Brazier looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. That's no. off the mark, and now 2-0. Oh. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. Kicks and fires. Hey. And it's even up. Rip to third. Whips it to Go. first. One away, bottom of the now six. Back. The third baseman. Both players. Now the third baseman. It's amazing. We get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other more recognizable names in this lineup. Snags it for the second out. Now bad. The, the left fielder. Field. Tyrone. So digging in, Tyrone Taylor. Taylor. Swings and misses. No that's strike one. one. Strike. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good and then by the time he gets in the hitting ball. zone, hard to get the barrel to it. One ball, one strike. That's 
next yeah, pitch is outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. The 2 1. In the air to left center. Hernandez settles underneath it. Corrals it. And that is that. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Sean Manaya. Now, now pitching, pitching for the New York, New York Mets, Mets, number 59, Sean Manaya. Here's Muncy to hit. He's already homered in this game. Max Muncy. As the lefty gets to work. Well, with both no, starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. Close one doesn't get the call. And that's ball two. Right through there for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Two and one now. Swings through that one for strike two. And okay. another ball. The lefty fires. That one That's is cool. inside ball four. And I mean, oh, so close. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Foul ball there. Manaya goes six feet five inches. He features a sinker, a slur, a changeup, a cutter, and he works in a four seamer. The Dodgers trailing by three here in the late stages of game one. The 0 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. One and that two. one almost got him. One, two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Muncy aboard here at first with nobody out. Next pitch in the dirt, and it's two and two. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. And the next pitch is way outside. Gets under and pops it up. Alonso right there to make the grab. And there's one away. The center fielder, number eight, Kike Hernandez. Enrique Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The Mets leading by three here in the top half of inning number seven. Out to center. Nimmo has it sized up. Nimmo snags it. Phil Maton on the pitch out of the pen here. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, now, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when Number he needs 30. it out. 
Phil Mason. Tommy Edmond steps the to the plate for the Dodgers. The Tommy Edmond. There's a strike. Popped up to the left into foul ground. And that drops foul. Two outs. Look out! And it hit him. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? That one to first, Alonso. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Dodgers strand a couple, and they're on the wrong end of a 7-4 score. We're now, back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number Evan Phillips. Evan. Just trying to keep this one close Phillips. here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's the catcher to him, Francisco Alvarez. The catcher, Francisco Alvarez. And here it comes. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Next offering is in for a strike. Bounce to the right side. Lux throws the first in time. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. The shortstop. Francisco Lindor. And now it's Frankie Lindor. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. That's in there. And that's strike one. And that's in the dirt. The shortstop takes the ball. Base is empty, one away. Here, the bottom of the seven. him down on strikes not sure about that call pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three yeah, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy he knows the strike zone extremely well and you know what good hitters are not going to compromise he'll take that punch out but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else and now it's mark vientos that one pushed foul Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Righty delivers. Come on and miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mets seven and the Dodgers four. Maton back to work. And a foul ball. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Oh. 
Riding to the plate. One Pitch ball. in the dirt. One and two to Cal. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Edwin Diaz, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Stanek warming up as well. And he deals. Lined into right. Marte takes the grab. And there's one down. The first base is number five. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Backdoored him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Next offering way off the plate. And a ground ball to first. And he takes it himself yep, for the out. out. Now batter, the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Swing on the first pitch. Appeal down to first. And he'll win, says Dave Lawrence. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. No, Misses just the off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two down, nobody on. Two and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Mets seven and the Dodgers four. Back now, now new pitcher the on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Ryan Brazier. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. He's already homered here in this one. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. Oh, one. One and one. Bounce back to the mound. Into the outfield base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Just kept it simple. Now Played batter. Pepper with the middle no, of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just oh, no one there to knock go. it down. Pete Alonzo up now for the Mets. Rudder takes off. Ooh. Swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Pro, and oh, they two. got him. Out. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. Then a quick tag before he reaches the base. One down, base is empty. Oh, Good eye in that spot. Activity in the ball, bullpen for the Dodgers. Brent Honeywell Jr., the young right-hander, up and throwing. <laughs> Comes up empty. That's strike two. One, two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative. But you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. The pitch. Oh. And another ball. Yeah, and that's cool. outside. Foul. Will 
we'll see another payoff pitch. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And that takes care of Alonzo. And there's two down. The right fielder, number six. Starling. Two outs, base is empty. Starling Marte up to hit. And this is the zone. Ball one. Way inside, and that hit him. Well, at least it's glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. And now the DH, Jesse Winker, one for three. Move to first, and he's back safely. Flips a corner. Just oh, missed. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Marte off of first with two away. Foul ball still a one and two count. That one ran inside, almost got him. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Met strand one. They hold a 7-4 lead. Now pitching for the men. Number 39, Edward Gillian. And we're back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. Will Smith. Shohei Otani up to the dish. The wind of the pitch. That one missed ball. by a lot. Okay. So we're off and running in game one. The 1-0. -oh. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, that's slightly in. And that's off the inside edge. Three and one now. Ooh. And that one is in for a strike. Three and two. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when 
With two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Mookie oh. Betts stands in here, takes one ball one low. Severino, in his eighth season, 30 years old now, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. That That's misses 2 and 0. Oh. Huh. Right through there for a strike. That one missed. In for a strike. And it's three and two. One out, base is empty. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Hits the fence. Makes the turn and heads for second. Betts in the second. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Man at second with one away. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And yeah, that's outside. Yeah, that's ball one. Well, everyone wants to get off to a great start in a series, so if you can get on the board first, take a lead, you put some of that subtle pressure on the other team. Go Next on. offering is down low. And that's in there at the knees. One out and a runner at second here in game one of the NLCX. That one fouled off two and two. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Ground ball right side. Slings to first, and Freeman is retired. That Time is. now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing they can get out of the ballpark with a hitter who's got decent pop. Two outs and a runner at third here in game one. Out of line, out towards center. Nimmo makes the ground, and that's the third out. One left for L.A. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. You're watching the National League Championship Series on the show. Back here with my pal Singy, and on the hill in this one, Landon Knack. How about a scouting report on him? power pitcher he's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity and out of his hand will explode the breaking ball very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger the fastball will beat them. we go to the bottom of the first francisco lindor comes up to the plate here comes a pitch that one pulled foul In the dirt, ball one. Oh. And the slider just misses. Two balls. One straight. And now two and two. Two and two. Kicks and deals. That okay. one off the mark. Counts full three and two. Out 
outside, and that is ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't Where offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about the over the first. And now it's Mark Vientos. Breaking ball inside. And that's ball one. At the belt and fires. Ball, and two. another ball. Two balls. No strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Check on the runner. He Lindor. Back easily. Good hitters count the 2 0. Oh, Just outside. missed. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Yeah, it could be his nerves. It could be adrenaline, just too pumped up. This is a big oh, game, and sometimes guys need to get a little fatigue so that they can allow their stuff to really play. Two that outs in the first good. has to be That's some cause good. for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the yeah, ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count right there. They can't afford to hand out free bases at this rate. Brandon Nimmo in the box now. Take strike one. The crowd here has been fired up even before the first pitch for this series, and they'll go crazy right here if they can take an early first inning lead. The pitch. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Oh. One at second, you're and right. that's two. Well, that's what you hope for if you're out there on the mound. That's first and cool. second, nobody out. So now get a ground ball. He got it right there. Nice double play by the infield. Oh, one, two. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. That one a little bit high. One and oh. Two outs. Close, but called a ball. And it's 2-0. Oh. Looks like he thinks that should have been a strike at the top of the zone, but doesn't seem to be too upset. That's just a case where I think he's trying to get a better feel for the umpire's strike zone and what he's going to be calling. That's just a part of pitching. Got well, a good eye okay. there. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. Starling Marte up next for the Mets. And there's the automatic. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Inside ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Not a good. First and third, good. two away. Four Here's Starling Marte. Marte. That's in for a strike. Two on, two outs. Strike two. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And one that ball. one missing He's low. Right. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here in Queens, the batter now will be Will Smith. Will Smith. Chris, you and I have gotten to work some memorable postseason games together. One I look back on, 2013 ALCS Game 2, the David Ortiz Grand Slam. The wind and the pitch. That one fouled off. For me, Boo, the game I remember is us calling the 2014 AL Wild Card game, the Kansas City Royals hosting the Oakland A's. The world. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. 
pulls it in on the warning track. Typically not easy to go deep to center field, but he almost did right there and got a little hope for the win, just not enough. Here comes Max Muncy. And the first pitch misses for ball one. No score here in the second. Swings over the top of that one. one this guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. The line of the pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Probably showed a lot of conviction with the fastball there. Not just because of the velocity, but also the ability to command it on the inside part of the plate. The last thing you want to do with two strikes is just get too far in there and it gets away and it hits the batter. So when I see a two-strike fastball bunch up a guy like that, it tells me there's a lot of confidence in that pitch. And now it's Gavin Lux. And no, ball one. Two down, nobody on. That misses the zone. Now 2-0. Oh. They say you win. Two and one. Two out, space is empty. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Drifts towards it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Jesse Winker. Winker. Knack back to work. And there's the strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Smith pulls that one down. One up, one down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Here's the third baseman. And that's through there for a strike. Looks like Go a really ball. good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. One down, base is empty. Oh, Slider misses outside. Dave Lawrence assigned to work home plate in this one. Good umpire, Boog. Very fair, very consistent. Now, I did hear some feedback that he opens up the outside corner a little bit on left-handed hitters, which you know for me, I'd be kind of salty. So maybe something to keep an eye on and see if that factors into this one. Or not. That's one in there, and that's strike two. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just that nasty. Is. Looks like a no fastball way. thigh high that you've oh, got to protect the zone. And then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. Next to hit, Tyrone Taylor. Ground ball left side and it kicks off the base and that's a fair ball oh. 
just found a way to slot that ball up. down the third baseline. The That's really excellent back control. control. I mean, it kind of goes back to all those Alvarez. drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Francisco Alvarez in now takes ball one off the plate two gone but the go ahead run is at first bottom half of inning number two runner takes off pitch in for a strike oh, go there city you know what I like the aggressiveness right there it looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one really good pitching so far so why not try to put some pressure on them and see if you can steal the bag get in the scoring position Outside and it's two and one. Last one couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's gonna have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. The two one. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Taylor stands at second with two gone. In the air, left field down the line. Oh, Nobody can ball. get there, and it's a foul ball. Line to left. Hernandez makes the catch, and that'll do it. Mets leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at City Field. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Here's Kike Hernandez. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Oh. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Severino. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. On the ground, the first lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Still yeah. able to get it there in time, and they do get the out. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. And yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. The shortstop oh. takes a ball. One and out. The pitch. Oh. And that's off the two inside and edge. And it's two and one. Swings through that one. Top of the third, no score. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. One down, base is empty. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches. And somehow, Boogie, found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Otani batting for the second time. And that's strike one. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. there 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat
Chopper right side. Alonso. Lindor. He's that's out. one. Over to first. Oh, in Up next to the dog. The right field. Mookie. Betts. Here's Mookie Betts. Doubled his first time up. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Oh. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Severino throws to first. Hey. Otani back in. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And there's a foul ball. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive oh, standpoint hi. anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Absolutely. Hey. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he could put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or and a swing and a miss that's the third out so no runs on no hits no errors and one man left we head down to the home half of inning number three no score and we're back and the matter will be the shortstop Francisco Lindor Francisco. One of the things Lindor. that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. And the pitch. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Not in time. No, it's a safe. double. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. And, man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Now the number two hitter, Mark Vientos. He reached out a walk his first time. And that one a little below the knees, and it's one to know. Right through there for a strike. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Man at second. Bows it off, still one and two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And a pitch. Got him swinging. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Nemo. Here's Brandon Nimmo. He's 0 for 1. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And the right hander deals. Strike two. And that one is lifted in the air. Edmund in position. And it's caught for the out. No, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Here's Pete Alonso. Walked his first time. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Oh. 
just missed. Man on second, two down. Right through there for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Just off the outside part of the plate. It's a good take. That one misses, and it's three and two. Starling Marte waiting to hit for the Mets. Two outs. That one hammered center field. Hernandez going back. Up against the wall and brings it in. So they work around the leadoff double. On to the fourth now in game number one. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Game one of the Leading National League Championship base. Series. The first base and now the first five. baseman, Freddie, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. Severino back to work. Freeman oh. goes six feet, five inches, 34-year-old vet, and he was a second-round pick back in 2007. Out towards right center. That's well struck, and it one-hops the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Pretty now much just a textbook Let double into the gap, the and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Now let's see if they can put up the first run of the game. Go ahead, run on base. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. He's over one. A little bit low. One ball, no strike. And the righty deals. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. The pitch. Oh, and pitch. another ball. On the ground to the oh. left. And that's just foul. Freeman at second with nobody out. Severino kicks deals. Oh. Three balls. Two strikes. Got him looking. <laughs> Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Really good battle right there. That final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him up for the backwards K. Up to the plate is Will Smith. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Clips the corner. And it's Come a 1 1. On. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Man at second. Check swing. Now to look down to first. And he went around, says Ricky Holiday. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball. Wouldn't chase that time. One ball, two straight. Severino with another strikeout. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still oh, haven't man, managed man. to do anything with the oh, leadoff man. double. Yeah, Boogie, man. you just don't want to get careless here. You've done a really good job to get two outs after that leadoff double, as you mentioned. And just got to execute your pitches, and it's a non-issue. 
Muncie in the box now. No balls and a strike. And that one hit to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So the Dodgers leave one, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The and now the right fielder, the right Starlin field. Marte. Starlin Marte. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Popped up. Freeman under it. Makes the catch for the out. The batter, number three, designated hitter. And now the Mets DH, Jesse Winker. He popped out his first time. That one down the line. Freeman steps on the bag. And that quickly, two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the, the ball baseman. out of the air. Perfect. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now the third baseman struck out swinging his first time. Bounce to the left oh, side. And it goes just foul. Here comes the one. one Upstairs. Ball, one strike. And Ooh. strike two. One and two. Lifted in the air, right field. Bet settles underneath it. He's there. He's got it. And the inning is over. Through four, still tied. Zip, zip. New inning getting started. And stepping in is the speedy Gavin Lux. Lux. The right-hander back to work. One that one not close. Ball one. Oh, and good. another ball. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Good. That clips the corner. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. And here it comes. Oh. And there's a ball. Three balls. Two strikes. Outside, and that is ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with a free pass. Here's Kike Hernandez. Goal for one. He grounded out to first his last time. That one's in there on one. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. The pitch. Oh. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. Way to lay off that pitch down. And a count one and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Two balls, two strikes. This one in the dirt, and an excellent job keeping it right there. Kicks and fires. Still two and two after the foul ball. Righty delivers. On the ground, a short could be two. Lindor over to second, to first, but it pulls him off the bag. The bat. Well, an aggressive slide at second base, but it was legal. I like it because you're trying to break up the double play, and it looked like the slide impacted the throw a little bit. Nice job by the base runner. Tommy Edmond at the plate. First pitch misses. One ball, no strike.
And he deals. A little out front there as he swings through. Runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. One ball. Second. Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Here's a one two. Almost got him. One misses. Three balls, two strikes. And he checks his swing, appeal to third, and Matthew Ross right on it says he held up. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base no, runner no, over no. at first base no, is no, going to no, have no. a very aggressive no, secondary no, no. lead. So a ball down oh, the line no. or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Otani oh, in the box with two gone, and it takes a look at a called strike. Edmund leads off first with two down to the inning. That's in there. And the count is 0-2. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Left-hand batter waits. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. So they've been held scoreless through five. And we still have no score. Back here in Queens, John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Tyrone Taylor. And a pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Lake Trinan, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. And a pitch. That's in there. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. On its way to the corner. Bets on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Outstanding catch right there. And I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch. And a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Alvarez nope. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. And another ball. Well, he's no, no. so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he no, doesn't have play. as much outside plate coverage. Here comes a pitch. And a four-pitch walk. Well, he's been in a very giving mood today. Now, now shortstop. Back to the top of the Mets order. And now the shortstop, Lindor. Francisco Lindor. Maybe a two ball, five, four, oh. three, it's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning.
Back here at City Field. Here's Mookie now. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And takes low for ball one. One and out. Wouldn't chase that time. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. And that clips the inside corner. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way and out of here. He circles the bases. The Dodgers strike first. It's 1-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Well, I'm not really sure how he kept that fair. When you're out in front on a breaking ball like that, such a good chance that it's going to hook foul. But not this time. He kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Nobody on. Nobody out with a run in. And we're the top half of the sixth. Kicks and deals. Oh, Action in the Mets bullpen. Kodai Senga getting loose out there. Manaya, a left-hander, also throwing. And a 1-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Down swinging. Picks up strikeout number seven. Now that and now Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Yeah. And Hernandez is out. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether yeah, it's in the batter's box the or on defense. Really? And right there, that was a good yeah. job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Two outs, base is empty. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And first offering is fouled off. And now a two-out opportunity for Max Muncy. Nice job oh, of driving that pitch the other way the on a line. Eight. You know, hitters, Max. they take so many Max. reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he one did ball. it perfectly. Oh, right. Muncy jumps out of the way of ball one. Smith, the runner at first with two gone. Just missed. Well, knowing hey, that no this hitter's got holes in his swing, because he's got so much power, pitcher still can get a little too tight, afraid to make a mistake. Two outs. Good eye right there. Gavin Lux up next for the Dodgers. Three one now. And a foul ball. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. So all filled up. Severino Strike. struck him out without a swing. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers one and the Mets nothing.
And we're back. Leading Bottom off. of the Four sixth inning. Down. Here's a big the power three. Threat. Mark Vientos. Vientos. And the pitch. That's oh. in there. 0-1. Oh 0-1. Oh That's Woo. a strike. Oh, two. Oh, and two now. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Stepping in, Brandon Nimmo. Fouled off. He was late. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. Here's the 0 2. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. The Dodgers up by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. One Next pitch is outside. And no, that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Okay. That one at 95 missed up top. Three and two now. That's Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, oh, but they still get the strikeout. The toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Oh, man, oh, sometimes oh. you just got to tip your cap. And here's the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. That one carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Dodgers one and the Mets nothing. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Kodai Singa. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first down. The center fielder, number eight, Kike Hernandez. And next for L.A., Kike Hernandez. There's a strike, Sango, 6'1 righty, 31 years old, and he was born in Japan. Ooh. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's a high chopper. Throws the first, and a couple of quick outs. Hey, man, four pitches, okay. two outs. Okay. That is an excellent pace. Now it's the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. Oh. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late. This guy's not okay. wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Oh. The shortstop takes the ball. Missed. 
miss is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Well, clearly not too happy with the call there. I thought he caught the top of the zone, and you could pretty much read his lips saying, that's not up. Two down, nobody on. Here in the late stages of game one. And they'll do it again. In the air, out towards right center. Pulls it in on the run. And that is that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Starling Marte up to him. Nat, back to work. Nope. Just missed. Looking to get the tying run on base. Oh. Out there to center. Hernandez sizing it up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's Number one down. Number three. Designated hitter. Jesse. And next for the Winker. Mets, Jesse Winker. This lineup is having a tough time finding a good rhythm at the plate. Their swings are disjointed, which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition. And that one fouled off. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. Hit in the air, center field. Sizes this one up. He's got it. Two away down. Up next to the net. The third baseman. Close Here's the third baseman. Yep. In for a strike. One one. Usually when one the pitcher's strike. had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Oh. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Two down, nobody on. Two balls, one strike. On the ground to third. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. He's safe. the Dodgers manager to the mound pitching change coming Landon Knack is done and he was very good they'll be happy with that no doubt we'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute to the mound now they turn to Blake Trinan well the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Tyrone Taylor getting ready to hit. One for two. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Well, with both starters out of this ball game, it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line. Next pitch is downstairs. Ground ball up the middle. Lux. They get He's the out. force. Third out. Met strand one. They still trail one nothing. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Sean Manaya. And they Sean. felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. 
I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when the opposing team did that to me. As he turns on the rubber here with that good live arm delivers. Otani leading things off and takes a strike. Well, an at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. That one ripped right center field. Gone! And they add to the lead. It's 2-0. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. Here's Mookie Betts now. Foul ball. And he will one. No, that's a ball. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Turns and fires to Betts. Double barrel action in the bullpen. Danny Young, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Garrett, the right hander, also getting loose. One run across in the frame so far, and we're in the top of the eighth. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Nimmo has it sized up. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. The first base is number five, Freddie. Freddie, Freddie Freeman Freddie. now at the plate. One for three. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That's down it away. One ball, one strike. Oh. And another ball. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. On the run, throw to first. Yeah. And Freeman is retired. Now that left move. Pay off the Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez digs in now. Right, and that's in for a strike. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. The lefty fires. A little bit high. One and one. One and one. And that drops in for a strike. But why to kick the pitch? Now on in the dirt. Now two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Up and in. And the count's full. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about now that one. Bad. Wasn't able to Kept elevate it. that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Digging in, Will Smith. Run around the move. Go to second. And that'll end the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And it's two zip, Dodgers. This is the National League Championship Series on the show. Back here in Queens, here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. The pitch. 
There's a strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Next That's pitch is outside. Movement in the bullpen. Eric Van, the rookie left-hander, appears to be getting going. The pitch. High fly ball, right field. Bet settles underneath it. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. Shortstop. Back Francisco. to the top of the lineup, Francisco Lindor. Lindor. Up now for the Mets. The oh. shortstop takes the ball. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Oh. The next pitch misses, and that's Good ball enough. two. And a good eye there. The Mets down by a pair near the bottom half of the eighth inning. There's a strike. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for a mistake down around the knees to be effective. And he walked him. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's shown yeah, some good patience in this game. one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. One gone runner at first. Mark Vientos, the next to hit. A big swing and a miss. Oh, well, strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. Lindor back in there. Tying run at the plate. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Hey. That one 95 to finish him off. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating right for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back. New pitcher now, Brent Honeywell Jr. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close there's not much margin for error but at the same time there's a reason they're put in these situations here's the center fielder Brandon Nimmo known for his late inning heroics Pickoff throw. Lindor back in there. I think you want to get a one-way lead. Be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score on a ball in the gap. Lindor off of first with two away. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for a second. There's a ball. Throw the second. Great jump. The tying run at the plate. Three and Not even close there. And now 3-0. and So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at-bat turns out. Man on second, two down. Oh, and the tying oh, run is on base. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, now, especially in spots great, like great. this. Make the team earn their way off. Now, here is Pete Alonso. Nope, okay. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. So the tying run at second. Yeah. Swing and a miss. One ball. And it's one, one and one. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. 
And he grounds one back up the middle. Nice grab. Fires to first. And that's a nice play to end the inning. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. All set to start the ninth in this one. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. The catcher, Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Activity in the bullpen. Danny Young getting ready to go. Garrett getting cranked up as well. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Just misses without one. Hit hard on the ground to short. Toss to Alonzo, and they get the out on Smith. Number 13, Max Muncy. And now it's Max Muncy. Sinker catches the zone at the knees. Pitches in there. Oh, a two down. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Yeah, just yeah, one yeah. of those days. But yeah. when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Lux oh. in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Two outs. Fought off foul. Been a solid inning so far in relief. Get them through this inning only down two. Could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. And a pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. The pitch. And that's in the dirt. Two and two. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Two down, nobody on. Cuts oh, and misses. Oh. It's a strikeout. So they make short work of them there. Five, six, and seven will leave things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Dodgers two and the Mets nothing. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Eric Van. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. Now, if you're now holding a small lead hitters. on the scoreboard, Number and you know those hitters are going to give you the Eric. best at-bats they can. Van. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Leading now up. it's the right fielder, Starling Marte. Right fielder. Starling Marte. And here it comes. That clips the corner. That one ball, misses one the strike. zone. And one and one. Wouldn't oh, chase that time. Breaking ball inside. 
Three balls and a strike. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And there's Thank ball you, four. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Leading off. Four of them Next is the designated hitter, Jesse Winker. Winker. Step off throw to first, and he's back in there. That clips the corner. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Fastball for a strike. 0 2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking. I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. One and two. Squirts away a little bit. No advance. Good job behind the dish. With the tying run at the plate, we're in the last half of the ninth inning. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Pulls it in. One away. Now batter. Third baseman. Okay. He's two outs away. Now the third baseman. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And that one's a little bit low. And that's ball one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Next pitch is outside. Towards first, and he grabs it. Foul. Tying run at the plate. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. To second, but oh, way safe. too late. Safe there. Marte into scoring position on the wild pitch, and there goes the double play possibility. As a closer, he's out there in that role for a reason, but even they lose the handle on one here and there, especially with all the nasty stuff coming out of bullpens these days. He's making it a little interesting here. In the air, center field. Hernandez has it sized up. He's got it. Two away. Now that left, left fielder, fielder. Tyrone Taylor. Taylor. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. J.D. Martinez looking for a two-out hit with a runner in scoring position. Miss. Two run game, a two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Two Good balls, ball. no strikes to count. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game winning run to the plate. And another ball. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. Just a slow ground ball this time, and he grabs it in foul ground. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Ball four, he walked in, and that'll keep the line moving. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill now your now momentum now. very quickly. There's some hot water trying to protect this lead. Substitution now at second base. Coming now in as the pinch runner, Bader. Harrison Bader. Number 44. First and second, two outs. And Bader. here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. Swung on, belted. That one back. 
That's down and one hops off the wall. One runs in, headed for the plate. The relay, he'll score oh, in the top. Great. It's 2-2. Two -two. Huge moment for him and his team, Boog. You know, some guys just grip it a bit too tight in a big spot like this, having a chance to tie it up in the bottom of the ninth. But he didn't let the moment get to him. Comes up with the RBI knock, and now he's giving his teammates a chance to win. Now, a new Boog. arm into the game, the righty, Evan Phillips. Evan Phillips. Yeah. So the batting order turns over. So up next for New York, Francisco Lindor. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Winning run and scoring position with two away. And a miss. That's a strikeout. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. So remaining in the game defensively, J.D. Martinez. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Also into the ball game, Harrison Bader. He takes over and right. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Danny Young. Number 81, Danny Young. The Dodgers going Dodgers. with a pinch hitter, Number Andy Pajas. And a tough spot when you've been sitting on the bench all the way into extra innings, but this could be a huge at bat for him if he can get on. The pitch. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. Oh, oh. Well, it's kind of deflating. You blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth, so here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button, try to get some more runs, and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. And that one missing low. One ball, one strike. And now two and one. On the ground to third. Jumps, throws, and they get the leadoff man in the tent. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Tommy Edmond will hit next. A switch hitter batting right. Splits the plate. Going around. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side. Throws the first in time. Two in a row set down to start the 10. The battle. Here's Shohei Otani. He's already homered in this game. Young, 29 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Ground ball, right side. Alonso takes it himself, and the Dodgers are set down in order. Offense held a check there. On to the bottom of inning number 10. We are tied 2-2. Staying in the game on defense, Andy Pajes. He'll be out in center now after pinch hitting. Mark Vientos getting ready to hit. Three strikeouts already. He's over three. Here comes a pitch. And a curve drops in for a strike. 
Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Ryan Brazier looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. the ground right side Freeman yeah. takes it to the bag and here in the tenth the leadoff man is out now got it center fielder Brandon Nimmo Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets It's even one and one. Base is empty one away here in extra innings. Good yep. eye in that okay. spot. Two and one. Swing and a deep drive. This one's got a chance. Way back there. And boom goes the dynamite. That was blasted to the moon. And the Mets walk it off in extra innings. Well, in the postseason, there's so much excitement, so much energy, everyone hanging on every single pitch. To have a walk-off win under these circumstances, these people have gone crazy. What a nice win, but you've got to turn the page quickly to come back for the next game. Three to the final score, a one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long.